Thanks, Trevor. So good morning, everybody. I'd like to call to order the March 16th, 2023 meeting of the Parks and Community Services Committee. Thanks, everybody, for being here today. Uh, the first item of business is uh, approval of the um, minutes. Anybody have any changes or corrections? No, I move that we approve. Thank you, Les. Second? Second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Thank you very much. Uh, public comment. Is there any public comment today? Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, now it's monthly state of the parks. Morning. Good morning, Kirk. Yeah, with AJ. Um, as you all know, I'm working not that much in parks anymore. I'll give you a, a, a brief report of what's going on, and AJ can fill in the blanks. It's this time of year, it's, it's landscape maintenance often with mowing by now, but it's nothing's quite flowing enough yet. It's been so cold. AJ's been concentrating on uh, lots of tree pruning, floor pines all around midtown look really good. Uh, Hedgings and a lot of parking lot cleanup. I've spent more time uh, working with recently for very personal reasons, personnel reasons with wastewater and recycling yeah, that I usually do. We uh, plan to open up the ball field today. Seaside Kids usually starts playing at the end of March, practicing, and a couple of teams practiced there at our little ball field last year. A couple of softball teams, and you never know who's going to use it. it. Used to be quite active back in the day when they were. Children lived in Cannon Beach. They get the teams here, but but it's, it still gets some use for practices, um, depending on who's the coach. And anyway, I want to get it ready before spring break. I guess I think it seems it's like a nice day to do it. It's, it's time. Soccer goals. We're going to wait a little bit longer till things get a little drier out there. And we planted eleven trees in the last month. Wow, great! City great. And anything to add? Um, since the last meeting, um, I went and cut down about two dump truck folds of uh, holly trees from the Sitka Spruce Reserve. Wow, thank you. <laughs> Jump start on what everyone was talking about. Thank you. And step removing graffiti and, like Kirk said, trimming trees. Clean up stuff before the grass and edges really start growing. Always we're, plenty to do. We're ready to go once it's once it's long enough. Start growing. Thank you so much. Any questions or that's it. No, no questions. All righty. Yes, thank you, AJ. Thank you so much, both of you. Yep. Um, I didn't notice any right of way tree removals this month. Correct. There is one, but it's on private property, I think. Cliff Lewis. If it's private it's property, I've, I haven't heard about right. it. Yeah. yeah. So you're removing a tree? Yeah. Dangerous. Okay. Alder. All righty. So let's uh, go on to today's a birthday. Um, I'm sure there's lots to talk about for 12 days. So, um, Let's just start with the schedule. And then if we want to add things, um, discuss things, let's do that. Um, so I don't have anything for Tuesday, April 11th at this time on the schedule. I don't see it. Um, I just spoke with Lisa Havaker with HRAP, and she said we are more than welcome to uh, their beach schedule on our schedule each day, which is great. Yeah. Do you have a question? Oh. Okay. Um, uh, and I know, well, I guess before we start the schedule, we should, Lynn, do you want to introduce what you, uh, sent in the letter about, about the scavenger, photo scavenger hunt? Um, <laughs> I don't even have a copy of it. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I was, I'm concerned that we reach more people into activities each day instead of it being two or three big things. I thought that I, I a photo contest that involved looking for certain things each day might be intriguing. Um, the 
they're working on very short notice, and so I don't know if we can pull it off date here because we have to do something a little more advanced um, instead. Um, because you know, we've got to get permission from the city to do the thing, and we've got to find judges and all that stuff. So it may turn into, if you don't really want to do it, it may turn into simply submit your photographs and we'll post them on a page this year. And then we're um, getting prizes and stuff. But I'm open to suggestion. I just think it's a really tiny window that we have. Okay. What do you think, Brad? Well, so, um, sorry. Um, I know that the letter that Lynn emailed is actually the last page on the packet. Um, I thought it was, a, uh, I think it's a great idea. And I think maybe a scaled down version could be introduced this, this um, 12 days if we, if we wanted to. I was thinking maybe um, selecting three or four broad topics and just let and see if, if we can get people out taking pictures they can okay. submit them assuming we can we have permission to use you know, a facebook page as a place to post them and then we could just recognize them uh or recognize the best of them at uh, the parent <clears throat> started i think lynn's idea um has a lot of merit but i you know, because we were so late getting up here, we really don't have all the pieces put together yet to make that success. Okay. So I think it's that we could easily put some kind of a scavenger photo thing together if the group would like to do that. Betty's got her hand up. Hey, Betty. Hi, guys. Um, I love the idea of having more involvement. And uh, I love Lynn's idea. I do agree that it's going to be tricky to put that all together as um, with the time we have left, but um, let's try it this year. And then um, I was thinking too, if we could have uh, like students involved in it, um, doing environmentally friendly things for the town somehow, um, they would get little stickers on a card and then they would get a prize, something like that for next year, because it would be nice to get more of the town involved. Um, so anyway, I love your idea, Lynn, and I, I would like to work on it and expand it and have it be something we do. So then the question is for, for you, Trevor and Tessa, if we, if we, were to do it, we'd use Facebook. Did did you say, Lynn, you got a 12 Days of Earth Day Facebook page? I said I wanted to make sure it wasn't taken. 12 Days of Earth Day 2023. But can we do that? I don't think we can. We have to use our city Facebook account. That's what I thought. Yeah. And so then we how would we would we just give the information to Rusty or someone to post? Tessa. The Tessa? Are you have to coordinate it with Rusty? We'll have to coordinate it. <laughs> Send everything to Tessa so she's aware. Either whether we end up just tagging the city in it, um, the 12 days page that Lynn has made, or whether we're able to post it from the city itself, we can figure it out. But um, chat with Rusty. Okay. You up for that? Yeah. I don't have an account, so it makes it a little bit hairier to get in and post, but we'll figure it out. Okay. So we'll look at picking maybe three days or something like that. Come up with something and send it to us. We'll send it to everybody and send it to what came up with. Or just scale it back. And we, and we won't do a, we won't do a contest because that involves getting a lot more coordination. Okay. It'll just be show us what you did, show us what you found. Okay. Everybody okay with that? So if you go if you if you mm -hmm. go to the last page, so Lynn and I brainstormed some topics we, we thought were topics, and some of them I think are kind of cute. Um anyway, we'll probably pick several of those as you know, just a suggested photo topic. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. 
to, to everybody. Uh, if you don't have it, so some of the, the topics that we had tried to come up with were, um, let me just read those, magnificent trees, um, ancient, big, little, buds and blooms, sun, cloud, sky, sand, surf, waves, um, haystack rock, or um, winged friends, life below the waterline, which might work well for the new Test survey, uh, or safari, uh, beach combing, creatures big and small, life's a beach, it takes a village. So we were just trying to come up with some ideas to let people think, you know, what, what means, what do they think fits those categories? Uh, and I do think it's a, a, a good idea. What I would suggest is we maybe just pick a couple and then let people uh, take pictures through the through all 12 days. And then we'll simply round them all up and maybe recognize the ones we think are most appropriate, if that suits everybody. Betty? We could also, um, at the fair itself, if we if we have the some of the photos already gathered, uh, we have a, uh, Mike and I have a big printer, we could print the photos and do a display at the fair if, if somebody wants to take that on as, you know, like a bulletin board with some of the, the beautiful pictures that are around town. Um, anyway, we have a printer, so we have the paper. So if somebody wants to do that, we could put it in one of our booths, you know. Sure, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. I just, I didn't have the equipment, but if you've got some, that available, then that, that might be just right. Yeah, okay. we do. Because that would that would deal then we wouldn't have to deal with the Facebook page <laughs> if you don't want to I don't know you know okay thank you Betty yeah okay. thanks Betty Lynn and did I understand that you had that you're going to lead um, a bird bird watching tour mm -hmm. a bird walk is that a good place for the to take pictures should they take pictures that they just going to look at birds oh they could do either so I was thinking that. Um, this might be an opportunity rather than make it like a contest or something like that. Just designate every day as, you know, a different topic to do. And then on Facebook, you can always just post today's topic is this. Everybody comment with their picture below. That might be an easier way to manage it. Yeah. I like that. I and then, you know, the day I'm doing a bird walk, it could be the, the winged friends or something like that. Okay. okay. We will continue to we, uh, the group, uh, and Lynn and I will continue to put something together and I'll get it to you, Tessa, to share out as quickly as we can so that everybody can see what we're, what we are proposing. Sounds great. Okay. Wonderful. Good. Thank you. One of the things, since, uh, sorry, I'm just going to break in. Um, Hannah, th that gave me a great idea, Hannah, because when we're doing the, the work party um, in Spruce Reserve, we could have people taking pictures of the trees they love um, and, you know, every di different things that are happening during the week or even at the fair itself, we could have pe people taking pictures of fun things they saw at the fair, you know, like if some of the kids had their crowns on, we could take pictures of that. So we could just make it sort of like an advertisement for all the fun things that happen. I love that idea that Hannah had of, bringing the photo, the cameras along on the bird walk. Yeah. Great. Right. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so now we'll go back to the schedule. Um, so uh, Wednesday is the Friends of Haystack Rock Lecture at the Cannon Beach Library. Uh, Thursday, the 13th, is the tree planting with the Cannon Beach Academy. Um, Friday, we don't have anything scheduled right now. Saturday, there are a couple of things, the work party, the composting workshop. And then Sunday, the 16th, there are also a couple of things, the guided bird walk, soap making. More, does Monday work for everybody the 17th for Hannah to do the lecture, bird lecture? Yeah, okay. Because we have a couple, we could do it on the 11th or we could do it on the 17th. I was just thinking if we did it on the 11th, that's awfully close to the other lecture with the Friends of Haystack Rock. Mm -hmm. So if the 17th is okay, we'll do that. Uh, third, Tuesday and Wednesday are open. 
Thursday is our Gaylord Nelson Award in our parks meeting. And um, how's that coming along? So we did, Bob Lundy printed up the flyers and took them around on Monday. And I put the box where you can put your suggestions for the person, the people um, at the front office here. And when's the deadline? And the deadline is on Friday, the 20th. I believe it's the 24th, so a week from tomorrow. So okay. A week still. And then we're going to try to meet the people who will be choosing the next one either Friday, excuse me, Thursday or Friday the following week. So it'll be the 30th is the Thursday, Friday is the 31st. And I'm trying to call everybody and see which one works better. Okay. But I reserve the room with them. Uh, it'll be at 10 o'clock in the morning, both of those mornings. So okay. we'll see how many we can get. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, and then Jen will do the plaque. Great, great. Uh, and then Friday uh, is Cannon Beach Shreds here in the city parking lot from 10 to 2. Um, a lot of things going on on Saturday. Uh, the Earth Day Parade, Bob Lundy is working on that. I think he was going to try and fill, it, fill out the application yesterday. Um, for the city for the special event permit. Then we have the street fair, the uh, solve beach cleanup, and then also the puff and watch. Um, it's puff and welcome. And it is going to be from eight. I just talked to Lisa having her eight to 11 that day. Okay. And in addition on Friday, the uh, in addition to the Cannon Beach shreds on the 20th, There'll also be a new to Bronx safari at Haystack Rock at 8 a.m., which would might be a good day to do title photos. Thank you. Um, Betty, do you want to talk about the street fair? I do. Um, so on the street fair, I'm pretty sure Cardam uh, washed away, and I know land the land, Nahalem Land Trust is not going to come. And I'm 99% sure washed away, washed ashore, and Heart of Cardam are not going to be able to participate. But everything else uh, stands as is. Um, the day of the fair, we're going to be doing in our, the parks committee is going to be doing um, worm, hot, hot worm composting, which Les didn't have this on. I'm sorry, Les, I must not have put this on. Hot worm Worm and hot composting demo is going to also be added. Uh, nature crowns, uh, natural natural cleaning demo, um, making envelopes to give away seeds and making seed balls so that people can be gorilla gardeners and throw flower seeds everywhere. Anyway, so those are the things we're going to be doing. And I would love, I have volunteers for, um, most of this, uh, so I think we're covered. But anyway, when, if anybody else wants to just hang out with us in our area, uh, your help would be welcome. So I don't know. I guess that's it for my side of it. I do see that the solve is the solve. The solve is going to have a booth, but they're also going to have a cleanup, and I. I don't know if that's going to be a, another confusion this year, like it was last year. Anybody? Well, the, we should, salt, the salt beach cleanup, I think, starts earlier than our. Right, right. Our fair. So, and usually they meet here in the city parking lot. Okay. Um, maybe when in the city parking lot, they can also be alerted to the, the street fair and kind of show up there afterwards because last year we we advertised that you know do your beach cleanup and then come and join in the fair so that would be kind of nice to to make sure they know that we're having the street fair that day and would you like all of us there at 10 betty to help with setup wow um well if Those you want to in town? 
That would be great. Uh, yes, that would be great if you if you would like to come. And I know my husband, Mike, and I have a friend from out of town that's going to be visiting. But if you do have volunteers, we, we do have to have everybody sign a waiver just so we all know that. Okay. Um, but yes, it's going to be fun. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. And then Kirk, are you, are you okay helping us that day with the things you usually help with? Just waiting for a number. Yeah. yeah I've, okay. I've been asked is yeah, what you guys share is I need to count. Betty, do you have that information? Um, I, I have, I don't have that information yet because um, I was waiting. I'm going to, I, I know Tessa has to send out the invitations. Most of the people that are not in town are, I know they're bringing their own canopies and tables, but the people from the town itself, um, they are the ones that we usually provide tables and chairs for. So as soon as we get the invitations sent back in with those numbers, then I can give those numbers to, um, to Kurt and AJ. Yes, let us know how many, what no, do you need, how many actually tables? Actually, it says on the page 21 that there's going to be six canopies. I assume those would all be city, but maybe not. So. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Those are, that's last year. That's just an example from last year. Oh, good. This year, this year, I just sent in. I just sent in the application for this year, and there's going to be twelve canopies. Um, but we're not providing all twelve canopies. That's just how many people are going to be attending. How many groups are going to be attending? And they all want a canopy. No, think? no, no. We're not providing. No, that's. Those are just how many. I had to put how many booths that yeah. were going to be showing up, but. I, the numbers that we will, we'll have maybe three or four canopies. I I don't know if we're going to have more than that, okay. but I'll let you know as soon as I find out. But um, you should probably be best to let yeah. Tessa, Tessa He'll let us know or Trevor. Yeah. Tables, oh, okay. Tables, let, tables mm -hmm. chairs, and canopies. Okay. I'll let you guys know. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, and then a question. So is there possibly going to be a sea turtles forever microplastic cleanup well that's why i left it on there i did actually reach out to mark yesterday and i haven't gotten a response back and i thought but i saw that sea turtles uh forever was on betty's list of people who were yeah. going to be there and last year they did attempt or they wanted to do a beach with their micro screens do you know if they intend to do that again? Yes, I talked to Mark. They are going to do it if, but they can't do it if it's if the uh, if it's rain have it's, if it's rained. So that's a that's a big issue for them. Um, but they are going to show up at the street fair and they're going to talk about what they do. And he's just you know fingers crossed that he can do a an event that day. So. But, okay. Yeah, and, and that's what happened last year, okay. you know, and it would ended up being too wet to to do it. Um, I can take that off. I left it as a placeholder because we it was part of last year's celebrations. Um, I kind of like, would like to keep it on there. Now, the, 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 the format here, what we did uh, last year, this is exactly what I would give to Tessa, and then um, apparently it's pretty easy just to take this and stick it on our web page. So this is actually the format that, that the detailed agent, you know, calendar would look like. Um, so I'd like to keep it on there. Uh, I can kind of, well, I'd like to keep it on there if we think there's even a chance of having one of their events. Okay. okay you know, I wonder, I wonder if they would be willing to just be down there and show us how it works. Um, I don't know. I think we should keep it on there because it's such a cool, it, if it happens, it'll be so cool. Yeah. What if we put it on there and just say weather dependent? That's, That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, 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 well, side conversation. Okay. Um, anyway, so that was the last thing on the agenda. Um, do you have anything else or can I take it from here for a few minutes? I just have, a, yeah, go ahead. Well, so getting back to this, so the way that we did this last year and that I would like to continue to do is for each of the uh, events, um, 
off to the right, the far right column, I'd like to get a little bit of a of a descriptor, a blurb of what we're going to do. Uh, so, for example, Friends of Haystack Rock, the lecture, I'd like to know what the, the topic and so we can share that to everybody. I'll look that up. Um, same thing, and, and I saw your email, Betty, uh, the composting workshop and soap making workshop, if you can give me a just a sentence or two to help flesh that out, and Hannah, for the for the bird walk and then the lecture, if you could just I'll email you give me some verbiage, that would be really helpful. That way, people know a little bit more about what to expect. I, I thought that worked well last year. A lot of what I've got um, in there actually is where where I have verbiage um, kind of came from what we had last year. So it may need to be updated a little bit. But uh, for those of you who've got things that are going on, uh, if you let me have some details, that'd be great. Perfect. When would committee like the businesses notified of the... Yeah, that's what I was going to get to. Yes. I have a few things here. Okay, go ahead. We got to set a date and a time to hang our two 15 years to yes. Right. Yes. So say one on the north side and one on the south side of town. So what day would you like to do that? Well, what day works for you guys of either the 11th of April, the 14th of April, the 18th or the 19th? Those are the days we have open. I mean, and you can do it another day if those don't work. I think Tuesday, the, the 11th, let's start it off with the hanging of the stickers. I'd like that. What time would you guys like to do it? We do 10. Last year, well, that's, what was last? That's what we did last year was 10 a.m. I, mean, I think it was 10 at the north end and 1030 at the south end or mm -hmm. something like that. You want to do a 10 at the north end? We'll start at the north mm -hmm. end. 10 a.m. Right. Fifth and what would we title that? Free City USA, 15 years. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Trevor, is that at NACUS? Uh, so we'll we'll meet at the, on the corner of Fifth and Fur, Fifth and uh, Fur. where the pump station is. That's where the sign is located, right there by the bridge. Well, the pump station just parking there. We got parking there. Okay. And then we'll go to the south end after that. Yeah. All right. And then my next one was scheduling a date and time where we're going to notify the business owners on Second Street. Are you, are you? I'm doing it and Anita's doing it and I'm inviting any other members to join us because the sure. more the merrier. Right. I think we need to do that pretty quickly. Right. Whatever works in your schedule really. Trevor. Well, the fair is the 22nd. So, of course, before the 11th, we should do this, but we don't want to do it too far in advance to where they lose sight of it. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. So I think some early April, the 5th, the 5th is a Wednesday. We could do the 10th. It's a Monday, but that's right before the 11th. So do you want to do Wednesday the 5th? Uh, sure. We just want to make sure that we get the right person, the information, you know, for a manager or an owner. Um, so we don't have any. We do it on the fifth. That gives us a few days to where you could contact if the manager is not there or whatever. Yeah. Okay. That works. You want to do the fifth? What time? Uh, you tell me. Probably 10 or so when businesses would be open or likely to be open. 11, 12, whatever time works for you, Trevor. Want to do two? Sure. Then businesses are after yeah. lunch. After lunch. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do the fifth, 2 p.m. And that's a Wednesday, you said? Yep. Okay. And who else would like to participate in that? I'll help out. Okay. Um, one of the things I, I thought we might want to mentioned to the the um, business owners i know that many people told me that during the fair they went over and ate at the creepery and the fish market so i know that the fair itself brings in business to those food places so you know it's it's i don't think it's 
I think it's a, it's a win for the um, businesses too. I would hope it would be. So just on Wednesday, the Oros and the crepe store are closed. Okay, let's pick a different day then. Yeah, and I think I'm out of town that week with my granddaughters. Now that okay, I'm so let me... Uh, <laughs> what about the next week? Uh, Even if it's during the 14th or that... The, the 14th? 14th? But the, that, uh, the 11th, 12th, let's see. Wednesday, the 12th, but then the crepe and Oros is closed, so... So it's like the crepe shop is only open Saturday. For oh, Huh. Oh, just on the weekends, right? That's what it says on Google. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Oh, well, maybe we'd have to contact him a different way then. Yeah. Do you want to do it on Thursday? The 13th? Are you here? Yes. 2 p.m.? 2 p.m. on the 13th. Okay. And then we'll do the Craig Brewery different time yeah 2 p.m the 13th and betty will meet at the um at the uh, public restrooms there downtown okay that's the day you plant the trees with the kids so time shouldn't conflict keep that in mind we have oh, a couple yeah. of time trees yet 2 30 yeah. so that would be pretty awkward how about friday the 14th we don't have anything. That's a yeah. day where we don't have anything on the schedule. Okay. Okay. I think so the fourteenth. Friday the fourteenth. Um, I'm I'm going to be. I don't know if we could add this to the fair, but I'm going to be teaching paper making at the Seaside High School, but it won't be open to the public. Um, but anyway, I'll try to make it. I I get done at noon, so I probably will be able to make it to at two. Okay, the 14th, Friday at 2 p.m. Okay, great. Perfect. What else? Nothing else? Okay, well, if we have anything else, you can always send uh, Tessa an email and she can send it out to the group. So. Okay, so uh, pre planning is at 2.30 on the uh -huh. 13th, is that right? Uh, the 13th, 2.30. Mm -hmm. the the Canada Beach Academy. Over in the North End. Mm -hmm. Okay. Want to ask about how many trees? Uh, we've determined four to five trees. Four to five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the, no one mentioned the parade. Uh, is the parade still happening? Yeah, Bob Lundy is working on that. Uh, so in, in the old days, I always put like a couple cones at the end of the parking lot to put like already set up and often there were already cars in there it's a, and i i'm not i question how necessary that is i'll be happy to i don't think last last year there uh, we just sort of one year that on the side and it was fine and yeah the cops didn't come and i let the parade with the work truck and i watched it first and it's just kind of it's kind of a low-key thing so okay so then my other question is i did block off second street at, at first thing in the morning seven o'clock eight o'clock then I'll show up with you know, these chairs and tables at nine or ten. Perfect. Okay. And after we talk to the business owners, if there's any, we got a they got a scheduled delivery or whatever, yeah. we'll modify the closure and of course accommodate their needs. Oh, I have another question too. If it's open more about yeah. a work party in the Spruce Reserve on the fifteenth. That's a Saturday. Yes. Anything? Anything from the city? Betty. Oh. Uh, please, uh, please bring a few tools. I mean, I don't know how many people are showing up, but I, I'm going to be bringing as many tools as I can. Uh, if you if you don't mind bringing some tools, I'll make sure you get them back. Um, is there a, what time is the is this work party scheduled for? Um, ten a.m. Uh, ten to noon. Ten to noon. And then the city was going to take away the debris. Correct. Correct. Yeah, it won't, it won't be taken away until Monday at the earliest. Okay. That doesn't matter though. Just pile it out of the road. Oh, thank you, Tessa. Um, and so, uh, loppers and handsaws and and some gloves. 
Clippers, yeah. just some clippers and some gloves. Yeah. And uh, kind of, you remember what you brought for us when we did the blackberry cleanup um, up at Decoma? Well, I bought some shovels because you were digging holes, and you're not going to be digging. Yeah, we won't be digging any holes. But um, the the clippers you brought. I should, I, I should meet you. I should leave that stuff. You're going to access it from opposite Madison Park. Yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I have a weird schedule on Saturday, so I'm just trying to figure it out for myself. But. Well, I could pick it up from you if you want on Friday or some, make it easier for you. Just no, I'm, here Saturday, I'm here Saturday and I'll, um, I might talk to you about gathering them when you're done and, and, and yeah, we can and delivering some place here at City Hall. Mm -hmm. something. We'd be happy to do whatever you need. It's okay. okay. That'd be fun. Maybe yeah. I'll just adjust my schedule and drop them off at 10 and pick them up at 12. That would be the easiest thing to do. Okay. okay. Thanks. Thanks, Jessica. Anybody have anything else? I had a note or a, a question in my own mind about the volunteer waivers. Again, I remember we went through that last year. Do we all, like all the committee members, need to fill out that kind of thing? We did last year, I think. Yes, we did. Um, is that something like, Tessa, could you email us the, the yeah, form yeah. or however we need to do it so we can do it? And then I'll make sure that you guys have those to hand out at the one party, too. Anybody mm. joining us needs to be especially using city tools. So um, we are able to skip the waivers this year, which is nice. Right. But I'll email this out to you after the year. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Lynn. Betty, if you could put together a poster to hang down here, I'll be at Solve um, about the street fair and, and everything. I would say we would tell people, but sometimes it gets really kind of rowdy. So if you had, you had some kind of something to hang on the post, you could direct them to their next. Okay, I sure that. will. I'll Unless you that. have that artwork, right? Yeah, so that's a good that's a good segue into that. So the the schedule's really getting fleshed out nicely. Um, I've kind of got a couple poster concepts working. I've got the artwork that um, Barb provided, or I forget who provided it to the committee to begin with. Uh, Ram, Ram Poppish. Ram Poppish. Okay. So um, anyway, so yeah, we'll have some posters. Um, and last year I got, um, we just printed out uh, a number of them and handed them out, but that might be good enough or maybe we'll do something specific for the solve site pointing to the street fair. So it's more obvious. Yeah, I've got some posters uh, started. Right. And I'll I'll get those to test of to share as well. Wonderful. Okay. Anybody have anything else for that? Okay, thanks everybody. Uh community grants. Tessa, have you received thank you for sending everything out. Anything come back yet? I'm mostly getting evaluations back right now, but I have gotten one or two applications before. And then last year, you just held those for review, right? I didn't give them to you. No, we just, just send them out all. Sounds good. Just all at once. Great. Right. Now, remind me of the date on that. When will April 19th? Is that what it is? April 18th, 19th. They're on a poster back there. I have to double check. Right. So that's the April. That's the deadline to receive, and then so we'll have them by next meeting. Okay. Right. Um, Heritage Tree Program. Um, is, does anybody have anything like they want to ask about that, or there are no other applications in this month? So, and we're going to visit in in November. So, so remind me why we're waiting until November to. Well, we decided we'd we look at the applications twice a year and we picked November as the first time we'll be looking at them. And we're just picking one tree a year? For right now. Well, I guess my thought is that to get a nice inventory of heritage trees, maybe we should consider doing it more often initially just to get it going. And then I noticed that it said something about the cost of the program and I wasn't sure what that is that each tree has to be um, looked at by a city arborist, and so there is definitely a cost involved in any tree that is 
there's an application for. Okay. To determine. So is that is that a normal cost of heritage tree programs? That it's just an evaluation by my city arborist. He has the standard rate that he charges the city. It, it seemed to be pretty typical of, of different okay. heritage tree programs. Um, that Betty and I look at anyway. Uh, and I don't know what the, that specific cost is, but I think some assurance that you know that it's a healthy tree and right. And, I think the qualification uh, that we have set out qualifications is a good idea. I just like to get one. Well, I'd like we to get more than one, one, but you know, it's gonna we'll have five trees in five years, and I just feel just kind of taking a long time. Where if we accelerated it maybe just a little bit, and then could back off once we got a good inventory of heritage trees. the The purpose of starting slowly is so that we get it right the first time as we're working on it and then we can certainly accelerate it as time goes on but the purpose was take a look at a tree you know just just start slowly so that we don't a bunch of a bunch of and then say oh gosh we didn't do that we didn't set that up right it's better to do it slowly and do it properly to start with and then we can and we can move in a different direction that was what we had what are some of the things that might Proved to be a challenge in this program that we would discover. Um, so we're starting with just the trees on the public property, you right. know, the city's property. Right. Um, the one that I I am anticipating is our first application for a tree on private property because there was a lot of concern amongst the group about. What kind of protections does a tree on private property deserve? Do we, are we going to require that at the actual property deed to recognize there's a heritage tree? Uh, anyway, that that's really the one that strikes me the most. Mm -hmm. um, I think as long as it's on city property, uh, there weren't nearly as many concerns about it. But but right. I think it was mostly uh, just from a cost perspective, you know, because heritage trees require are going to require a certain kind of maintenance and the city is going to be on the hook for that for the well that's where you know it'd be nice to see what that cost is to know that and then if there was any way to offset that some way i don't know yeah. it's a standard rate our arborist charges us which is yeah. not uh, depends on uh, how extensive the report has to be how much time he has to spend on the report Give us like a hundred dollars average when I just do an average tree, it's be three to four hundred dollars for a report. That'd be nice to work out some sort of a, an arrangement with our arborist when he's doing a heritage tree inspection. If we could just get a flat rate, maybe I think that's possible. And, it, and I think that once we've kind of got some day, some experience, it, it's something that the, the city could put in its budget because right now we're. Kind of planning to spend money that's not right. budgeted, and that's never a, right. a good thing. But yeah, we we just thought that let's get something started. What what I would like is to see some applications come in. Um, you know, well, there was one so that we've got something to work with. Hmm. Uh, maybe I don't have a particular tree in my mind, but any of us. When you're doing your cleanup do in the, the spruce reserve, you can take a good look around in there. I think we should make that a point. To, yeah. You know, yeah. do something. Uh, there were several suggestions as this discussion went on about, you know, potential trees. I think maybe we need to, we, someone in within this committee needs to in an application well that's all. what i was just going to ask you know it's it's uh possible for the parks committee to sure. submit some applications just for um inventory just to see yeah i don't have any problem with that i don't know it, would there be they see if that's a problem Let, let's see some applications yeah yeah yeah, we're all community members. There's any reason why one of us couldn't nominate it. Right. Yeah. And then I think I liked your idea about maybe putting something on the water bill, if that's possible, just to let yeah, I was looking into that. that. Yeah, I was looking. I think for the last three months, it says, does the city have your correct address? <laughs> just, well, that's important. I just might interject that if, in my understanding, going back from the old days, if a member of the Parks Committee nominates a treaty, that's all fine and well. But if the Parks Committee is the one who decides to move forward with the recommended to the council, that 
separate with the cues. Right. Well, I think that's reasonable. Good point. Okay. Thank you. Right. Um, I have an update for the Little Free Library. Um, Mindy Hardwick said that they'll hope to have the structure itself completed before spring breaks. Um, so hopefully we'll see it in the next couple of weeks. I talked to Phil okay. about a week ago and he's going to keep me informed. Great. Okay. So hopefully in the next little while, we'll have a, another Little Free Library. Great. <laughs> Betty's clapping. Um, so anything for good of the order? I was wondering what the uh, procedure is for land acquisition for potential passive parks. Passive parks or pocket parks? Passive use. Mm -hmm. Is that something that Parks Committee could request or has there ever been a program for land acquisition? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. We've done pocket parks, you know, in the parks master plan. Long time ago there was discussion about budgeting to for the city to purchase the chosen 50 by 100 lot that hadn't been built on and making an offer to buy it for neighborhood pocket parks. Mm -hmm. was the term passive wasn't and that was kind of a great fantasy, and of course it didn't but it go anywhere. And at the same time, we realized there's all kinds of right away space that could be used as pocket parks, and which has actually happened in the last 15 years. Mm -hmm. But there's no, there's no. Uh, well, there's there. yeah. The uh, Holland property is the one I guess that I'm specifically thinking of, and I've actually been approached by Beth Holland for that very reason. She would like the city to purchase that property. <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, so anyway, I was just wondering if that was within our realm or scope of a committee to uh, ask if that is a possibility. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. That's a, that's a, yeah, that's a big ask there. I mean, it's a big chunk of property. Big it is, and I'm eight. sure Beth isn't going to give it to us, but yeah. yeah but um, yeah, anyway, would. well, she might. Yeah, we'll see. But anyway. When John Young's estate to buy it and add it to the John Young property next to it. Yeah. yeah, just putting it out there is a possibility to explore a little bit if, if it's at all possible. So there is a parks master plan, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, how often does that get reviewed? Well, or does it? <laughs> everyone made a commitment that it would not just get sit on the shelf and collect dust. So it's probably it's world. a twenty-year plan, and it's, how old is it, Trevor? Five years old. Five years, yeah. And um, if everyone has a copy someplace, so it's somewhere. It's online. Do you guys all have a copy have of it? A hard copy. I do not. You just give it a hard copy to all of you. And I would like one. Day. Yeah. I think I, I, I was, I'm old. I like hard copies of everything. Well, I um, do. It's pretty cool. And actually, some of the stuff has been done. It's kind of a guideline. Um, we spent a lot of money to have the plan done. Um, the ultimate, I think the reason that Grassing did it was he, he had to have a parks master plan in order to pursue state grant money for a boat ramp. The idea to be replacing the awkward handicap ramp at Tolabana Wayside in the vehicle ramp, make it all one ramp. And you could get Marine Board grant money as a boat ramp, and that would serve as an ADA and a vehicle, emergency vehicle entrance to in a boat launching ramp to the beach. That was kind of his incentive. And, uh, and that's still kind of city talking about that. I mean, it's so, but anyway, that master plan is kind of fun to read. Yeah, yeah I would like a copy of that. I mean, actually, I guess I don't know. Uh, yeah, I have one, and I just remember everyone making the vow to not let it sit in the shelf and collect dust, and mm -hmm. that's what it's been doing for the last year or two. But we well, kind of referred to it for a while. We get some stuff done, pocket bars, and stuff like that. Yes. All right. Okay. Anybody have anything else? Mm -hmm. All right. We're adjourned. Thank you. Thank